it's Keith from KMA's Corner, and here we are creating a new world called Keith Plays Minecraft, and you're going, wait, Keith Plays is already a series. Well, guess what? I am relaunching the world, I am giving up on my old Keith Plays world, but I'm continuing with the um, episode numbers, I'm not restarting the episodes, I needed a refreshment. And I'll tell you why I needed a refreshment in a second. But as you see, it's survival, more world options, structures on, world type default, cheats off, bonus off, um, done, and create new world. So while this is creating, I'll tell you what's going on. I have been doing three series for the last few weeks. It's nice to see I got plenty of cows. And nice to see I got, ooh, look at all these cows. Wowie showie cows. Yeah. So for the last three weeks I've been doing, or no, I shouldn't say three weeks, for the last like couple of months, I've been doing uh, basically three series. My Keith Plays series, which is a single player Minecraft experience. Uh, the Athens MC series, which is a snapshot series on my favorite server that I play on called Athens MC. Come play with me there. Um, the link will be down in the description. And then there was another series called Serenity, which was another server. But I was kind of thinking to myself, why am I playing on servers? If you don't know, um, my recording area is in the middle of the living room. And my household is very busy. So busy that I can't record during the day. So I actually wake up first thing in the morning to record at, it's, what time is it now? Let's see, it is 5.47 in the morning. So I, is first thing in the morning the only time I can record. So why am I, oh, I don't want granite. Um, so why am I, recording on servers because server play you're supposed to do collaborations and stuff and this is um, a little something to help white fire understand also is I don't I can't do collaborations white fire is a guy um, I told a long time ago I was gonna collaborate with but I can't turn my living room around and say hey everybody else in my family shut the F up so I can record the episode I'm not gonna do that um, and until I get a good, nice, quiet place to record where I can record whenever and whenever, <clears throat> there's no reason for me to be playing on servers because how many of these do I have? I wanted to see, um, because I can't collaborate with anybody. So basically what I was doing was three separate isolated worlds. Um, I'm going to get a, some more trees. Uh, let's create some more stuff let's create more stuff we always like creating more stuff so I can't collaborate with anybody so there's no sense of me playing and recording videos on a server because basically I'm doing three single-player worlds and that's just a waste of time and I've come to realize that I do a lot of the same things in each world so oh, do I hear a zombie in the background I do I do Oh, zombie. Well, I might as well make a sword. So I've decided to get rid of my server. Um, what am I doing? There we go. That's how I like it. Yes. Let's go kill some stuff. Um, so I decided, what's the sense of doing the servers if I can't collaborate with anybody? And until I do get an isolated room, I won't be playing or recording videos. I will be playing on those servers still, but I won't be recording any videos on them because it's just stupid to have three series of single player world, basically. Nice horses. So I've decided to eliminate the other um, series and just basically focus on this and there's another reason for that on this series I should say and there's another reason for that and um come on and I forgot what it was 
Oh, yes. It's becoming season down here. Um, my days are getting longer at work, so I don't have the time that I used to to mess around and do fun stuff like this. I guess I should go get some coal. And um, so my time is going to be eliminated for the most part. Thank you for the one iron. Now I can make myself a good shovel. <laughs> so season is coming. My day, my, I gotta stop getting off the track. Um, my days are going from five, six hours long to eventually nine or ten hours long, six days a week. So my time isn't gonna be um, good enough to continue trying to do three videos a week with in all actuality I was basically doing two videos a week but my goal was three there's if I can't do three videos a week when I'm working 40 hours a week how can I do three videos a week if I'm working 60 hours a week so that is my future so I've decided to downgrade my channel to um, shit ton of iron already thank you guys to just one series for now it may expand later but all I'm gonna do from now on is this Keith plays series and it's gonna be two videos a week and um, and all my energy is gonna go towards the series so this world should be rocking and speaking of which hard it's gonna be on hard <laughs> I think my last one I was playing on easy or something not easy uh, normal and I didn't want to change a part way through I didn't mean to do the normal but it just ended up that way uh, where is my chest of not chest there is my thingy of love yes that's a thingy of love I'm gonna cook up some food so yeah that's what's going on I've eliminated my three series and now we just have one and this is the world we're gonna do it on and hopefully it's a good world as you saw at the beginning I did not choose a world I just let it default that's how I like it we're still in 1.8 so I can use my texture pack that I like so much when 1.9 comes out I may um, update this world to 1.9 most likely it's not a may I will update this world to 1.9 so that means I'm gonna stay out of the end until 1.9 comes out um, which still should be a little while so all my energy will be on here two videos a week that's all I'm gonna be putting out I'm gonna have fun with this I'm gonna do it with some energy um, and I am gonna make this a technically proficient world with lots of mob farms and stuff but at the same time I'm gonna make it beautiful I'm sick of making an ugly like cobblestone thing in the air with a villager breeder right next to it that's just nasty looking without any like thoughts on how it looks in the world so I'm gonna hopefully keep this world for a while and um, when I say a while like close to a year and we'll see what happens but I'm gonna get some stuff done and I'll be back with you because nobody wants to see the beginning of the world so I'll be back in a bit I did some work as you can tell because now I'm looking cross-eyed out of my helmet that has been enchanted <clears throat> did tons of caving mm -hmm. did some farming that's why I got the hoe so let me show you what I have done um, it's really not much because you know it's the first little bit of a game um, this is my hiding hole <laughs> this is where you get your uh, first stones for the world that's where I got it that's where I just recorded where you just watched yeah uh, many hours have passed in real top life um, I kind of got some eh -eh, some potatoes I just got a potato from a zombie and some wheat so I can feed the cows and get a normal food source going um, there's no chickens around here so I haven't found a chicken killer 
I got the massive um, sugarcane farm. The reason why it's so massive is um, because I wanted an enchanting table and stuff, so I wanted to make sure I had enough um, paper for it. So I got the paper, and then I have this cow farm that, I mean, as you guys all saw, you can get back in there. See, this is where they would die in the past. That's why I like having this fence here. A, eh? now they just squirm up. So every once in a while, I will find cows out here, but I got a gazillion cows. Eh. Have, enjoy your freedom, sir. So I have a gazillion cows. Um, what does it say? The entities say gazillion. So yeah, um, really? Dance on your own time. I'm trying to make a video here. God damn you. So, and there's the stuff I feed them. I mean, just basic first, second day farms on a new world map. Other than that, I haven't done much. I decided I found my uh, place to do my mine, and I'm going to make a... The best way I can explain this is a hermit craft um, rail cart elevator here. You know, the circular ones that go down and then you have the chute in the middle. Um, actually, the circular ones, you come up and you have the chute in the middle. I've been getting some snow blocks because I think that is what my house will be made out of. It's snow. I want a white house with blue windows. And uh, so snow and quartz maybe. But definitely that stuff to die, right? So I'm gonna go down here and show because most of my time in this world has been caving. I would say about 90% of it has been caving and I've been just kind of keeping the resources to keep me caving. Um, but this is where my mind is and you see the, the circular descent. This is where the rail cart's gonna go eventually for the thing. It's a little dangerous here as I just wanted to make the staircase all the way and I have my enchanting area which is going to be near the mine because you know you do in the coal it gives you 30 levels pretty easy and I'm at 30 levels and speaking of enchants I just had the basic one chance on these and as you can see I've done so much work all this armor has almost been completely destroyed I got my efficiency 5 pick need to get on breaking on that sharpness three yucky 30 enchant power one which is a basic enchant and this was a major enchant um, because I started collecting some more wood wood farming so I can have stuff um, so doing all this work I've come up with a lot of resources already um, I haven't even people see this chest and go oh my god I can't believe that this is happening in this way because it's not organized but I got a shit ton of iron and a ton of coal but I've been cooking up all this iron and stuff I guess I don't have that much gold hmm have I made use gold for anything I haven't used gold for anything yet but basically it's a, I've done one tunnel uh, you can actually see the end torch way down there the one that I am over right now it's a 250 long tunnel it's gonna go 250 that way and every four one I do the poke holes to the side so that's what it's gonna be on this side my cats are so excited there they can't contain themselves right now they're running around and destroying the curtains Arr, cats freaking pussies <laughs> um, so that's where I am right now I don't know how much more I'm gonna get done before the end of this episode but I'm gonna work on some uh, stuff and give you an idea I'm gonna think of what I'm gonna where I'm gonna go for the next episode and I'll be back with you that's right I'll be back with you F5 is not my end record key it's F9 bye I need some wood so for the next few minutes I am gonna be chopping down some trees and talking to you about something 
And that is something I have learned over my days, years, well, close to almost a decade of uh, YouTube videos is that, especially with Minecraft recently, um, I thought, I was mistaken. I thought good content meant making an awesome build and like going, oh, here's the area. This is what I'm going to build. Then go away, come back. Oh, and this is what it is that I built. And spend six hours in between making that build. Then going, but seeing that I've made this, I need to do this over here. And I'm going to make this build over there. And then go, okay, take three or four hours, come back. Oh, this is what the progress is on that. And then, like four or five hours later, oh, this build is done. And then release a video where I spent, you know, 20 hours making two builds, which were really cool, but I was mistaken. Well, <laughs> okay, I'm getting, being conceited there, which could have been really cool, <laughs> but I was mistaken. Hold on. Okay. I don't know, my headphones are acting up, so it sounds like things are squeaking. I'm hoping it's not coming out like that. But I was mistaken with the fact that big builds automatically meant good content. You know, if I did a lot of work during this episode and I completed all this stuff, that meant the video was good. When in all actuality, good builds help, but it doesn't make a video for good content <clears throat> so I am not wrecking myself and spending 15 20 hours of labor making a video when most of the youtubers that I follow and watch on a regular basis I'm not really watching them with a few exceptions for what they're building, I'm watching them for how they present themselves, their own attitudes. Um, I didn't initially get into B Double O way back when, because he was an awesome builder. I mean, he did have the build series, but it was at in its infantry. Um, but I liked B Double O because of B Double O, his attitude. And I have to understand that if I want to do YouTube with any sort of success, and I'm not talking about quitting my job and doing YouTube full time or any type of success, uh, success but I'm talking about any notoriety on the, the channel, you know, being known as a good Minecraft guy to go to or watch for some interesting materials. Um, going here's the where I'm gonna build and spend all day long making the project and the next morning recording and going this is what I did all day long yesterday I hope you like it and have some sort of crazy ass build that took forever to make that just isn't good content um, I didn't get into B double O because of his builds I got into him because he's a funny freaking dude <laughs> and <laughs> he, I know he plays it up, and that's one thing that I'm not going to do. I'm not going to pretend to be somebody who I am not uh, and make videos. What I am is what you get. And if you who are watching this don't like my personality, don't like my sarcasm or my general, oh, do I have to do this? <laughs> my, my general complaints about the game, but that is who I am. I'm not gonna be going around and pretending, PEEPA! You know, doing stupid stuff like that just to get views because that, to me, is not, I can't play a role. I'm not an actor. I can't fake enthusiasm. The enthusiasm has to come from the game. And I was kind of losing that enthusiasm because every single day I was like, okay, well, I have to make this huge ass thing 
which normally I would take two or three days to do, but I'm going to have to cram it in tonight so I can tomorrow morning show in my video that I made this monster spawner that has four or five thousand blocks in it. Or I'm going to try to do this nether tunnel that is impossible that should take months and months to make and try and squeeze it into two days and burn myself out on the game. And that's partially what happened. The Serenity Nether Tunnel, and I complained about this a couple of times when I was making it, it was just too big a project. And it was making me dislike this game. And I was not looking forward to logging in because I knew I had to place another 15,000 nether brick or, you know, a couple of hundred thousand, not a couple of hundred thousand, but a couple of hundred, you know, um, slabs and it just made the game tedious and made me not like the game which kind of is interesting because I've come into a little conundrum uh, with this world um, I don't really consider this cheating some people do but I went on to miss to find out where the closest biomes for things that uh, somebody would want in this world like jungle wood uh, ice spikes mesa and all that stuff and I found out the closest Mesa is 17,000 blocks away from here. The closest um, Ice Spikes is 24,000 blocks away from here. And one of the things I wanted to do in the series is make sure I make everything pretty. <laughs> pretty. Um, when I make a build like a... You know, if I cut a tunnel to the ice spikes, that's 24,000 blocks away. So that's 3,000 blocks in the nether. I'm going to want to uh, make another tunnel that, you know, is interesting to look at while I go out there. So my conundrum is I got kind of burnt out from feeling the need that I had to finish that nether tunnel on the Serenity server. And I didn't want to because it was too damn long and that tunnel was 1300 blocks long and now I realize in this world if I want to go to an ice spikes biome and get me some ice blocks I'm gonna have to make not a 1300 block tunnel but a 3000 block tunnel in the nether so that should be interesting <laughs> Maybe I won't get ice spikes in this world, but <laughs> um, I'm going to have to figure out something with that. Um, how much would I'm going to get some more? Uh, if you're wondering, I'm going to accent the house I'm building. I don't I haven't chose where I'm going to put the house. I'm thinking maybe over there, up there. I was thinking in here because there's waterway there. And there's like a peninsula island over there I might put one up. But that's for the next episode, maybe. Um, I'm not even going to guarantee what exactly what I'm going to do in each episode either. But what I wanted to get known with this clip is it's okay for me to be sitting here cutting down trees, not really progressing towards any type of building goal, and just talk to you guys. I would never have done that a couple of weeks ago. Um, I'd be like, what? Talk? Say what's on my mind? What? I need to build something and show it off. I need to make a big statue out of that mountain and spend 25 hours on it and release a video and pretend it was done in like a half hour. Yeah. No. It's okay for me to be cutting down trees because I get to talk to you guys. You get to know more about who I am, what I'm all about. And all that great kafutabada there. Yeah, all that great kafutabada. If you don't know what kafutabada is, there's something wrong with you. Go look up kafutabada. I have no idea how to spell it, but go look it up. So, just standing here, I'm going to chuck this by so I can look you in the eyes better. Just sta standing here. The haunt that... <laughs> the helmet of glowing purpleness yeah um, and talking to you guys while I'm cutting down trees was unheard of 
with me in the past because I was thinking to myself, well, this ain't great content. Who wants to watch me cut down trees? But 90% of the Minecraft YouTubers that I watch, it's not because they're making some huge ass build. Sometimes that is the case, but most of the times it's because I like the person who is making the video. So I am basically going to tell you guys, you're going to get more of me, Keith, the human being, than me, Keith, the oh my god, he's just spent all this time making this huge ass building. That was a lot of work. That is amazing. I want you to know me instead, know my personality, and go, wow, that guy is really cool. I'd like to be his friend. Because you know what? Everybody who watches my videos, you're my friend. Thank you for being my friend. And I'll see you next episode. Thank you for the new resetting of my world and Keith plays Minecraft. Goodbye.